Hey guys, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing off some new coupon code features that we've just added to the WebStarts store application. But before I get into the video, tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on whatever we release, new features, web design, internet marketing, and search engine optimization. All right, so if you're not familiar with the coupon code, when you create a store and people go to checkout, it's pretty normal to issue coupons for sales and things like that. And we have a field where you enter a coupon code. You make up this coupon code so it can be whatever you'd like. And your customer will just enter that into the field provided there and click apply. And of course, you'll be responsible for sending them that coupon code, whether it be through email or over the phone or however you want to distribute your coupon codes. But to create the coupon codes and to do that in different ways, you're going to log into your WebStarts website. You're going to click on the store application, and that's going to bring up the manage store view. And then you're going to click on the coupons tab right over here. I've already created some coupon codes and I've added them, but I'm going to just click add a new coupon code and show you some of the options. So you can create a coupon code that gives a discount by amount, percentage, or you can just give a code that provides free shipping on your products. If you select amount, you'll just be able to type in your code. So let's say it's, you know, $20 off, you would just type 20 off or whatever your code want, whatever you want your code to be, because uh, this is completely customizable. You can enter anything into that field. Then you just type your amount. So in this case, I want to give 20 bucks off. So I add that amount. Down in the apply to field, you're going to apply to either your all products, a specific product. And if you choose a specific product, you want to select that specific product from the drop down menu here. Or you can choose to uh, only honor that coupon code when they have a minimum order total. So maybe I want to require them to spend $300 before they can take $20 off. And if that's the case, I enter the minimum amount I want them to spend right there. Then I can enter the uh, valid dates. You can leave it open-ended if you don't really care when they use it. They can use it anytime. If you want to provide a termination date or an expiration date, you would just select that from the calendar like so. You can also limit the coupon code by the number of uses. So if you just want them to be able to use it one time, you would select to limit the usage to one time. All right, let's say you want to create a coupon code that gives a percentage discount. You would select the percentage option on the left side panel. Then you would give that code a name. So I would, I'm just going to say this one's uh, 50 off because I want to give 50% off. Then you would just enter the percentage off. In this case, we're using 50 once again. And then just like we did with the amount coupon code, you can specify whether you want this percentage discount to apply to all products, a specific product or a minimum order subtotal. All right, for this example, I'm just gonna apply it to all products and then I can still do the other uh, things just like I showed you with the amount. For example, set an expiration and limit the number of uses. Lastly, let's take a look at the free shipping code. You can just put in the code, whatever you wanna call it. I think calling it free shipping is a pretty easy one and you can do the same thing. You can apply it to all orders or you can apply it to a minimum amount. So if you want them to spend, let's say $100 before they qualify for free shipping, enter $100 as the minimum subtotal amount. And then if you want to assign an expiration date and a limited number of uses, once again, you can do that there. Whenever you're ready, just click create and that will create the coupon. So in this case, I click create and there's my coupon code free shipping. Now going back to the store, when I add this free shipping code to my field and click apply, it should go ahead and knock out the shipping. So, well, I don't have $100 worth of stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at my cart. And I'm just going to add, I'm just going to go with three of these uh, small hoodies just so I can get the deal on the free shipping that I just made up out of thin air. All right, now I'm going to apply that. And you can see that it's knocked the shipping down uh, by removing the coupon amount that is equal to the shipping. So it's essentially free shipping at that point. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out these new coupon code features, as well as go to webstarch.com to create your very own free online store, website, or blog. And as always, tap that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you can be the first to find out when we release new features and videos. See you next time.